I have a box to open. Inside this box is a handbag. It's a very special handbag. However, it was a little bit of an impulse purchase. And since I've had time to think about it between when I ordered it and when it arrived, I'm thinking I may return it. However, it's also a very difficult to find bag and a desirable bag. So before I return it, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to purchase it if you're interested. So stay tuned to see what it is and see if you might want it. It is a very cool bag. I seem to have misplaced my box opener thingy. Found it. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. One of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds like this related to all these beautiful things we love. This is something that I posted about in a community post. So let's go ahead and get into it. This was a coach collection that was in boutiques. It came out about a year ago. I have been waiting for it to go on sale. Recently, I checked for it again on the boutique website. This box is ridiculous. Why all these giant flaps? And it was no longer on the coach website. And I thought, ah, oh, I missed out on it completely. I had even gone into the store once. I don't remember when, because I've only been into coach once or twice since the pandemic. So I know I saw the collection in the store, so I don't remember if I went there right before the pandemic and that's when it, it, it was right around that time, like spring 2020, early spring 2020 or late winter, whatever, that this was released. And I went to see them in person to see if they were as beautiful as I thought they were. There was a lot of buzz around this collection. One of the salespeople told me that this collection would never go on sale. There was a point where it was included in a sale online. I think it was sometime in fall of 2020, but I didn't take advantage of it then because it wasn't enough of a sale for me. I don't remember how much it was, but these were pricey bags and I wanted to get a really good deal. And I finally did get a good deal on this one because just a few days ago, earlier this week, Sunday morning, it was about a week ago because this video is going up on Saturday morning, a subscriber actually told me, well, okay, coach sent an email saying that this was at the outlet now. This collection was now at the outlets. What? I went immediately to the outlet page. There was nothing there from this collection. I thought, well, I've missed it because Coach, when they send emails about new things, they usually send them a day after it's released, which is dumb. And then you miss everything because it's all sold out. But I think that was supposed to, they were supposed to drop on Friday. I checked on Saturday because I got the email then. And then Sunday morning, a subscriber told me, hey, go to the website. They're there. I know you like this collection. So I went and almost all the bags had come up at the outlet were still there. I think there was only one that was sold out maybe. But of the bags that were there, I picked up this one. This is actually not my first choice from the collection. And that's probably why I'm one of the reasons I would be returning it or selling it to you guys, and I know I'm talking a lot before I even show you the bag, but I'm trying to like, you know, work us all up for it. The bag I really wanted was like Louis Vuitton prices, and I didn't want to pay that for a coach bag, and it wasn't in the outlet, unfortunately. So I wanted a bag from the collection, so I picked this one up. I thought this would be the best one for me of the ones that were offered on the outlet, but really I think I sort of just settled and bought something impulsively because I knew they'd sell out quickly and I wanted to get something. Okay, let's get to it. So it's packaged in here. Take this out. And there was a little receipt and return label in the box as well. If I show you the front, it's gonna give it away. So here is a little peek. Are we ready? Sure we are after all that yammering on. Let's see this bag. Here's the back of it. Here is the front. It is the Coach Rogue 25 from the Basquiat collaboration. Basquiat was a painter and his estate helped put this together, this collaboration with Coach. That's his name on the back. It looks like a postcard. And I'm afraid of how much to unwrap this because I 
I have to unwrap it some to show you guys. It is pretty. I'm thinking really that my hesitation with this bag and why I would want to return it is mostly this orange color. I don't think that that will go with my wardrobe very well. But even more than that, I think that the Coach Rogue is just not a bag I've ever really been interested in. Unfortunately, it was the only bag from the collection that I thought would work for me. The other ones were like, mm, no, that's definitely not gonna work. And at least maybe the Coach would or the Rogue Wood because that's more of a tote bag kind of thing. And you guys know I love artist collaborations. Let me put up a picture of the bag that I really wanted from this collection. And what I love about this, first of all, it's a larger size bag, like the 36 centimeter or something, 40, something like that. And I like the, the neutral beige color of the background, just like on this bag. But what I really love about it is the abstractness of the design, the Basquiat image that's on it. And I like the colors. I think this is something that I could make work. That bag retailed for like $1,200, $1,300. And unfortunately it just hasn't been anywhere below that that I've seen or any kind of price that I'd be willing to pay. I just for that kind of money, I'd rather get Louis Vuitton, right? I just don't wanna spend that much on a coach bag. These Rogue 25s retailed for $800. They were deeply discounted on the outlet. Based on what I saw this morning, there are still two bags from the Basquiat collection on the outlet. There aren't any Rogues available anymore, but you could go check those out if you're interested in looking at that. I'll link it below for you. And since I know I'm not gonna keep this, I hate to unwrap it much more than I already have. If anyone is interested in purchasing this bag, let me figure out a price real quick because I have to take into consideration not only the outlet price for it, but also the tax and then the shipping that I would have to pay to get it to you. So let me figure that out real quick. All right, I just did a little research and I think a fair price for this would be $450. Since I don't want to unwrap it, I'll show you a few photographs of it from Coach, like the product photos, just to give you an idea of what the bag looks like unwrapped and on and the inside of it and everything. It has these darker brown handles, like a taupe colored handle I can lift this up a little bit to show you that. So the handle is this color. The interior of the bag is this micro suede kind of mustard color. It has this one card slot there and then the Rogue has this big zippered compartment and then big compartments on either side of that zippered compartment. The other side on the back of the bag, there's a slip pocket there. It has three different handle or strap options. So there are these two handles and there's a little coach tag there. There's also a long crossbody strap. This is the same color as the bag itself. And then there are two shorter shoulder straps that you could just throw on your shoulder. Those are also the same color as the bag itself. I do think it's a very pretty bag and I went with this. They also had a gray bag with this with a big banana on it and it had snakeskin handles and that one was pretty cool. But I went with this one because it has the cityscape that says Empire. Of course to me that means Empire State right in New York City and I used to live in New York City so I have that connection. It has feet on the bottom it has designs on the side, and then this looks like a postcard drawing on the back, and more designs on the other side. It's just a very cool line of bags. I really love them all. They just don't all work for me, and I wish I could get my hands on that bigger tote for a really good price. But at least I do have, you guys already know this, I do have this piece from the collection, this bag charm with Rexy. I bought this when the collection first came out. It says Coach Basquiat there. So I guess I'll just have to be happy with that. Maybe someday I'll come across that big bag for a better price. So if anybody's interested, just let me know. I'll give people through the weekend. And if no one has purchased it by the end of this weekend, which would be the end of the day, Sunday, May 16th, then I'll go ahead and return it on Monday. And if you've never seen these in person, let me give you a little close up there. I don't know how easy it'll be to tell. Maybe right there you can tell some. The design is not just printed on the bag. There's a texture to it. Like on this building, the red lines are imprinted and the orange sticks out a little bit. On this building, you can run your fingers finger over it and feel that the lines are out a little bit, like they bubble out a little. This one, they go in, they're imprinted. This, they're out. This one, they're out. Well, it's different things, actually. This one, this building, 
hadn't even noticed this until I'm looking at very close. So this is imprinted and the orange is printed on the bag, but the little crown there, this spindly thing, this box, those are all raised a little bit and then a glitter. And then this building is stitched in and then this little box here is stitched in. So that's embroidered. The designs on the side of the bag seem to be all imprinted or just printed onto the leather. On the back, this is imprinted, so you can feel the lines go down into the bag. And then this comes out. Actually, that's not glitter, it's a it's um it's also stitched or embroidered. It's just a glittery thread that's used. So yeah, same on these glittery things. It's a glittery thread now that I look at it really close. So there are a lot of design elements in here. Very cool bag, well thought out. I'm just not in love with this particular one and I know someone else will be. So I wanted to give you guys the chance to grab it if it's something you wanted and missed from the website. If you are interested, let me know by email. It's autumnbeckman at gmail.com. You do have to be in the United States. I don't ship overseas because the costs are too expensive and it's a lot of extra trouble, unfortunately, to ship from the US somewhere else. And the costs are just exorbitant. Let me know via email. I would send you an invoice via PayPal. So you do have to have a PayPal account. The address of your PayPal account has to be current. I won't ship to an address that's different from the one on your PayPal account. I won't use any payment method other than PayPal. And I won't do friends and family. It has to be invoiced. By the way, the shoulder straps and the crossbody strap are all removable. The two little hand 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 held handles, say that three times fast. Those are not removable, but they will fold into the inside of the bag, kind of like on the Louis Vuitton Montaigne bag. And I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.